Now we get to venture into something called music production. Well, we got to have a guest this morning who is Mazai Nigwiji. Let, <laughs> let me call him a veteran. Yep. Thomas Digger. Yeah, Thomas, yeah. Thomas, 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 Thomas. In a na namoli mwago wa kizungu. It tells you all the way from your teacher from primary all the way up, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If for, the, for the Kenyans, ni Thomas. For the British, ni Thomas. <laughs> for the Kenyan, ni British. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, mimi ni wa British. Wewe ni, ah, wewe ni British. <laughs> okay, so, so I, I, I know now, no. I'm no longer local, yeah? I'm yeah, international. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's always Mazai great to have guests, of course. We get to talk about music production. And Thomas Digger is a DJ, disc jockey, of course. And he's also a music producer. Yeah, true, true. Where, 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 do you, where are you located? Uh, I'm located, Sai, mm -hmm. in 125 Rongai, mm -hmm. Onkata Rongai. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm working in a studio called Samic Records. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I'm doing production. And... Uh, basically peer music directing kidogo because mm -hmm. you know when artists come to the studio you have to direct them one two three four five six things or mm -hmm. uh, because at the end of the day see to about kuchukua pesa msani kumrecord atoke aende at the end of the day atakuwa melan nini akitoka hapo all right yeah, yeah so it's not just a matter of coming let's do this and then you just go yeah, yeah. What, what what are some of the stages that you take your Uh, first of all, akingi ya studio, mm -hmm. lazima kwanza um, kuna, kuna ile kitu tunaitanga vibing. Mm -hmm. Vibing basically takes around uh, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Ile I get used to the studio, aski a sound, I feel free. Because the moment wanaingia kwa booth na huja watayarisha, kuna kitu inaitangu wa booth fright. Inaitama bathe, kuna msa inaskia booth na shindo, eh, kwa tumizu tukia mazeo, tule, hello. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sinola <laughs> sasa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Si booth ya hizo enzo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> booth basically is a place where sound is, is recorded. Uh, is recorded. Mm -hmm. Of course, in a record you on a mic, <clears throat> but it needs a soundproof area. Well, now that's where we call a booth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a studio. <clears throat> Kama si booth, there are places, lazima studio to equip fully, mm -hmm. fully like equipped vizuri mm -hmm. na sound hiyo soundproof ikwemeo kwa poa all right let's yeah. get to talk about music production as we have already begun yeah. how, how is the industry as of now uh, industry sign as a sema uh, it's fine uh -huh. at, at least mm -hmm. at least the agenda of uh, play kenyan music ime ime peak because uh -huh. nakumbuka kuna time manze we were really struggling ku kucheza kenyan music all zile vitu tulikuwa tunasikia ni wasafi tunasikia tu naija mm -hmm. tunasikia south africa but right now at least we can hear kenyan music like at at basically 98 to 100% uh, so tunazama 98 are you sure it's yeah, 98 yeah. as of now yeah yeah ni 98 because bado kuna ile crowd tu fulani inapenda outside songs mm -hmm. yeah, yeah so you think at least as kenyans we have embraced local content yeah 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 Do you think it's a business someone can think of venturing into as of, as of now? Yeah, uh, music music is business itself. Mm -hmm. As long as unajua unafanya nini. Mm -hmm. You know there are people who do it for the fame and people who do it for business. Kuna watu wanataka Zipeleka nangi? Ah, ah, ah. Wacha nikwambie. Kuna mse akiingia kwa music, mm -hmm. yeye anataka venture into music that itamsaidia ku venture into corporate business. Right. Na kuna mtu ataingia kwa music simply because anataka jina mtaa yao. <laughs> let's let's focus on it when you mess in terms of corporate yes music <coughs> industry and if you uh, venturing into the corporate yeah how do they manage? uh okay basically ikoivi an artist is the image uh -huh. an artist is a brand an artist himself and your sauti ya jamii okay so an artist is like the president mm -hmm. and i get he's given more attention Because, yeah, uh -huh. because yeye ndio anasemea kitu ina happen mtama kwa maisha ya watu so if you use an image definitely to represent something unaona italeta mm -hmm. faida mali fulani that's why you see for example uh, uh, i'll take a very good example of calligraph jones calligraph jones is one of the top kenyan mm -hmm. uh, endorsers of so many like brands kuna Eristoff kuna Monster na Monster kwanza alisaini wa worldwide mm -hmm. okay, so mm -hmm. yeye mwenyewe like waliona this is a person who can endorse mm -hmm. because yeye mwenyewe tuki tukimwacha endorse your product the fans what i get kuinunua and that's where the profit of the business comes mm -hmm. that's how it is all right yeah uh, let, let's talk about uh samic records because you were not there initially yeah 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 you began with <coughs> 
Uh, I began way back in, okay, nilianza na studio na itua Crucial, uh-huh. way back in my hometown, Kibera. Uh-huh. Then uh, nika ingia studio, sasa ini itua Grandpa Records. Yes. yes, and that's why I want us to focus on how many people do you think are growing from all these produ- production houses that we have right now? Um, I think with the production houses, it's a bit tricky what to grow from production houses. Most of them grow under individual artists mm-hmm. when you wame, wame get kuachukua, mm-hmm. wa grow. Kwa sababu, kuna ukora mingi sana enye watu wajuangi naendelea by the Mko ama wako. <laughs> <laughs> wako. Wako. Unajua sisi tulilana learn a lesson. All right. At least we go to learn a lesson mm. na saizi hatuwezi tukataka the same thing iji repeat. Mm-hmm. <coughs> okay. So, easy record labels za Kenya and then you know Kenyans never have this education of uh, what's a record label. Mm-hmm. Unajua okay. there, there, is a, there is a difference between a studio and a record label. A studio is a place where kuna equipment, mm-hmm. you can go record na Unatoka. A record label is a place where you can go, get signed, get assistance, get packaged as a brand. Right. In terms of in public relations? Yes. yes. Right. So, una, una packagiwa, mm-hmm. then now they take you to Kama Izo co- uh, corporate right. offices. Mm-hmm. Wana sema, this is our brand. To mem sign under our record label and we have agreements and terms. Mm-hmm. So in case of this and this and that business mnataka ku venture into CC, mnataka mm-hmm. kutumia brand zetu, now we want we would like you to involve our, our brand because ni jina kubwa. Unaona? Mm-hmm. Eh calligraph mm-hmm. napenda kumtumia kwa sababu yeye is like the biggest image sahi. And yeye mwenyewe ako na record label inaitwa Blue Ink. Mm-hmm. Blue Ink ilikuwa na the likes of marehemu uh, Sagini. Mm-hmm. You see? Au ni watu wenye alikuwa ameanza kusign. Unaona so and then there is this one thing wasanii wanafaa jo once you are signed into a record label it is not up to you to gain too much to 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 kuwapatia profits mingi. Uh-huh. Kuna kuna who, who is supposed to be taking his mass? Uh it's supposed to be a win win situation. 2020 half half yeah. <coughs> na inaenda gaivi. Let me now educate you how it goes. Please do. Uh, the record label <coughs> I was doing some research about <coughs> sorry uh, record labels are maju kama me back music here across what they do they take you washa spot talent mm-hmm. they take you they package you for almost a whole year all right kama haujasikizwa yet kwa radio your work is just recording songs kupackageiwa na kujenga hiyo image after that year sasa wanaanza ku kukutuma tu kukutuma cuz already now you are ready for the world mm-hmm. you get so after that now there are agreements na hapo ndio contract sasa inakuwa game imeongea inasemanga for these and these and these services and services and uh, studio na ku offer mm-hmm. tutakata this percentage Wewe, right, so it emerges from everything that we, all of us we have gained yes right mm-hmm. so studio takes this you go with this na hata mnaweza agree mara ya kwanza ndio tu recover hiyo expense yote tume spend Holy kwako mm-hmm. utatek a smaller share first for this period tukishapata pesa yetu now you can go kuna kuna wase we exit yeah, kuna wase we exit because like hapa Kenya sasa hiyo ndio inakuwa shida people don't honor their contracts mtu anakuambia after one year tutakuwa but it's a sign agreement yeah mm-hmm. but another thing is this you should get this straight most of the Kenyan studios never operate under a law contract mm-hmm. how hawana maloya <laughs> unaona well. so it's a printed contract mm-hmm. unapewa usign na hata ujui unafaa kusign na presence ya nani you're supposed to sign the mu- your record label contract with your lawyer and the studio lawyer All right, that's straight from uh, the music producer himself, Thomas Thiga. Yes, sir. And w- when you talk about even the music, the music industry in general, <coughs> tumana wasio mara sana in terms of the music yes, business. Yes. And th- they are moving quite fast. Yeah. What is making the trend in the music business to come like msena release ngoma leo within one month we are done with it. Ah, what I say me kuna shida kubwa sana with uh, let's take an example of the genre sai yenye iko all over in it Gangeton. You see Gengeton is a we appreciate the Gengeton artists mm-hmm. actually more respect kwa mm-hmm. sababu wao ndio change the game course ya Kenya na wase kusikiza Kenyan music but you see kuna differences between 
hit songs and records. All right. <laughs> okay. Look, no angusha ma ma mystery wako. Yeah. <laughs> there are differences between records and hit songs. Hit songs, kama hizi genge to ni hits. Wakitoa ni hits ziko all over. Unaona? What is making them s to hit and to sell at a fast rate? Then this, they this, go down. Okay. This is how um, the world is as mm -hmm. per now. See, ata Kenya peke yake. Kenya, as in the world, loves a simple term that is catchy. Right. Na yondio in a hit. For example, kama ingo ma nikona drinks na ma yengs mm -hmm. drinks. That time ya drinks na ma yengs. People will be like yengs ni nini. You see, it's a catchy term. Mm -hmm. So when somebody goes to sing it out there, already ni catchy. The crowd it a respond. Then if you another one is released, we are done with. We are done with that. Uh -huh. Sasa tuna concentrate apa. And that's how hits Zico. But for the records, mm. records ni songs enye iki produce your leo. Ten years from now, nita iskia na bado ni iskia ni fresh bado. What's the difference between these two? These two ni hivi. First of all, it all narrows down to the message of the song. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the arrangement of the song plus the instrumentation of the song and the vocal side of the song. Which now bring is in, brings in the producer. <coughs> Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Now that's where the producer comes. Mm -hmm. And again, there is a difference. Wasani wa Kenya hawajuangi ikitu na ntawambi. The fact that I'm sitting down in a studio to make for you a beat, that doesn't clarify that I'm a producer. If you come to me, <laughs> uniambie thamos ni aje, ebu eka yo kick ilie hivi, ebu cheze yo guitar icheze hivi, ebu cheze yo, cheze yo piano ilie hivi. I'm not the producer. You are the producer. Yeah, because you're now creative. Thank you very much. Mimi, the only thing I'm doing, I'm beat making. <laughs> okay. You are the producer. Jubendi omenipatia sound. Mm -hmm. You've produced the sound, mm -hmm. so that makes you the producer of the song. What are you angry for? Today is that day. Today is that day. If you, have, if you never knew about these things, brother, you need to consult. <laughs> and because Manze of time, we, we need to wrap up Kidogo Manze, then yes. probably have some other time. Yes. Uh, just tell us how can we find you and where? Uh, Mimi, Niko, Niko Kilama. Kilama Ali, by the way, uh, DJ Thamos. Small letter Zote. Now, DJ Thamos, ni DJ T H A. M O S si Thomas ya flask. Watu wa si watu wa si abike Thomas ya flask. Mm -hmm. Eh Thomas ya T H A M O S. Mm -hmm. Yo. So Facebook, IG, yeah, yeah, yeah. Twitter, kila mahali. Kila hadi Snapchat, eh. LinkedIn. Hadi hadi Mpesa. <laughs> hadi Mpesa. <laughs> <laughs> All right manze, thanks you very much for coming. Probably can you, give you 30 seconds to give us your parting shot. Ah uh, <laughs> okay. No no kona content. Mimi tu ile kitu naweza sema ni number 1 first of all yani wase waji believe uh, God first, know what you do, love what you do, and do what you love. Mm -hmm. Now, nah, respect over everything. Rep your hood, man. God bless oh, you. Oh, goodness. Man. Whatever that is, man, that's a hit right now. We're going to trend on that. <laughs> Thanks so very much, Thomas, for making time and to sir. be with us. Thank that's you, thank Thomas. You. Hey, I almost think the same thing. Man. My British thing has gone. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's uh, Thomas Digger, of course, from Kibera. Huh? They're now emerging to be one of the mega producers that we are having in the city. Many thanks for joining us on Entrepreneurship Tuesday. You know, it has been such a nice time to have you join us from 7 a.m. through this time that is 10 a.m. Well, to partner next time and big up on yourself.